Good morning, everybody. Uh, we shall begin today's session. Uh, again, we'll follow the same format that we have been taking. Uh, I'll show you the question and you'll share the answer. I mean, you'll share the answer in the chat box, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, this is the first one. What is shown is using one, two, three, four, and five, using five blocks or squares, uh, you can generate these many different uh, shapes. Using five squares, you can generate a linear shape, a cross shape, an L shape, a C shape. You can generate all these shapes. Uh, and these are four different examples. Um, yeah, you have to note here that the A, B, C, D, which is rotation, and also mirror rotation and mirror option or flipping mirror or flipping option is possible and they will be considered as the same okay so all these options for the c shape they are considered to be one they are, they are not different so you have to find that using this five blocks which are the different which are or rather how many unique shapes can you generate by sticking five square uh, five square tiles along their edges. You have to use at least one edge basically. Okay. You have to stick the tiles using one edge. In this case, uh, there is no shortcut. You will literally have to sit and very quickly draw which are the different shapes which can be made using the five tiles. So using the five tiles basically. So can somebody just turn off their mic, please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, I will explain it again, Kavya. Uh, you are given these five tiles and you have to generate different shape, unique shapes which can be generated using the five tiles. So these are the four options of the unique shapes which can be generated using uh, the five tiles. One is a linear, one is a cross, one is an L and one is a C. But in this case, the catch is, if you see the uh, fourth option, which is a C, you're given flipping and rotation options for the C shape. In this case, what is given is flipping and rotation cannot be considered as a different shape. So this C is not a different shape than the mirrored C that you see here. So all of this option will be considered as only one unique shape, which is a C. So likewise, what you have to find is how many different, what is a number rather? What is the number of unique shapes which can be generated using just five tiles where one, at least an edge of the tile is uh, attached basically it's sticking to another tile rather and it has to be uh, like these four are the options I mean besides uh, how should I put it yeah so all these so four, all these four count. You count. Uh, can you please turn off your mic please yeah so all these four are the four unique shapes uh, so we know at least four unique shapes are there. But besides those four unique shapes, which are the other number of shapes? I mean, how many other, how many num other uh, shapes you can find? I, I hope I'm clear, Kavya. Okay. You in this case again, I'm repeating. You have to literally draw the shapes. Okay, there is no shortcut for this. How many shapes, unique shapes, you can generate using five tiles? You have four options. You have to start with the fifth one. Okay, so linear cross small uh, L is there. A C is also there. And besides this four, how many more? Which is the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth? Like how many unique more unique shapes can you generate? And I just need the number. I don't need the sketch. You just have to write the number of shapes which you can uh, make using five types.
तन्वी यू मिसिंग फ्यू मोर देर आर मोर देट टेन आई मीन वॉट योर आंसर देर आर मोर एक्चुअली ओके चलो पलक दैट्स वे मोर आई थिंक यू हैव रिपीटेड योरसेल्फ रॉन्ग आंसर मैत्री करेक्ट आंसर uh then we even more uh, it's a lot of number it's a big number uh, actually there are less than what you answered shimoli uh you are missing few more i would put it that way palak correct answer All right. So we'll solve this now. So in this case, what is given? Uh, just one second. Yeah. What is given is we know all these four shapes are unique. An L across an L. Uh, sorry, a linear line across and an L. Uh, they are correct answer. And a C. So all four are correct and they are unique shapes. The fifth one will be I'm doing a derivation of the linear one, where Second, will be some shape like this. Okay, this is the fifth shape. The sixth shape will be a shape which gets derived from. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Draw another one. Which gets derived from that uh, L, which we are seeing here, like a Z, like this. Pardon me for the proportions which are coming out. I'm sorry for that. It's difficult to control. Derived from the Z, another option will start happening, which will look something like this. A three. part linear block one block here and one block here which is unique different again derived from the l we can do an equiv uh, rather an l which is uh, how should i put it uh, equally distributed uh, both the hands are there in the l like this it uses progress uh oh yeah it uses this uh five blocks uh from the c again derived from the c i can make a block something like this it uses five blocks again all right now one more shape which is there two Four and five. Okay, a T like this. Another thing will be a Z, but not a linear Z, but a horizontal Z, something 
and then we are getting leg space but bear with me like this one where one of the uh, legs is uh, slightly bigger there is one more possibility besides this where i'm just drawing at the bottom Okay, an M, which you see here. So that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and the four remaining shapes, which makes it total twelve. So the correct answer is is twelve here. Yeah. All right. Is it clear? Any doubt? Any question? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the twelfth one, which is seen at the bottom, and M. Any doubts? Any questions in this one? Anything you feel that I have missed out, you may point it out right away. Uh, there are few people who had given answer more than 12. Uh, do you think that I missed out on anything? Sorry, uh, I something was I had, had to take care of something. Yeah, okay. Sanchi uh, is you are asking is there a correct way to know if our answer is correct? Uh, can't we put the ties on one three five? One three five. One two three four and five. Achha. Okay. Sanji, uh, the thing is, no, there is actually, uh, frankly, there is no way. There is no, actually, there is no way in which you can deduce that whatever you answered is correct or it's not correct. Uh, you have to go with your gut in this kind of case and derive to what extent and to what extent you are able to find new options. Uh, Rishabh. You have suggested that is it uh, that uh, in in the, in the linear block can't we uh, put uh, the tiles on one three and five places? If you put the tiles on uh, the uh, I would say okay, chalo. I'll just now write the numbers here. You're saying one second one three five. And five. Okay, you're saying this either can't be put in the linear block at uh at places one three five. Okay, tell us. Let me let me draw what gets from what comes out of that. Okay, so if I put it in the first position, which means I have to take the block from the bottom, the one and the five position will be the same. Okay, first thing, one and the five position will be exactly the same. There won't be any difference. So if I put it in the uh, first position, which is here, like this, you have to assume that ye wala jo aapka pura block hai, wo nahi hai, which makes it exactly like what uh, option three is there. Now, if I put it in the third position, one on five, dono mein same possibility aayega. You have to consider them to be the same because they are the first one. 
if i put it in the middle that will look exactly like and but then i have to remove one block from here that will look exactly like what uh, the option 5 is looking if you look at this option option 5 so it will be repetition at the end of the day i hope i answered i hope i i understood what you said and i have answered you rishab um uh, okay shimoli make three blocks and put uh, one second put blocks on one and two on opposite side one and two on opposites make three blocks okay uh shimoli um are you are you talking in continuation with the linear block yes ma'am okay so what are you saying uh that the i have to make it three blocks okay so one two three then uh first or two position pay i put one one block yes, sir? like something yes. like this let me see okay so okay one block here and one block here is yes, it no i'm on the second block on the second block here like this yes okay so i have to assume itna part hai nahi. okay does this yes. look similar to what it what number seven is number seven ye wala. yes na, na, same hai na. so it won't be counted which means it's not a unique shape okay uh rishab did i answer you are you here okay thank you so much any other doubts anybody has in this uh trust me it's just trial and error you will have to use n number of combinations and at the end of the day you will realize that whatever combinations you are now coming up is getting repeated and that's where you stop there's there's no correct way there is frankly no way where you can do it as a shortcut case the correct answer yeah 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 in this kind of question okay specifically in this time that's why i've taken this out because most of the questions that we have seen so far there was a way of deducing which is the correct one that's why okay okay we'll move to the next one now this is an exercise in uh, some kind of a coding you're given three becomes one three one two four becomes one seven one six five becomes two one two zero six becomes two five two four seven becomes two nine two eight eight becomes three 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 two then nine would become what there is a, some kind of a coding involved and from that coding you have to deduce what number nine will become there's some relationship with single number and the four digit number which is there you have to write the number basically in this case there are no options given so you have to write the number what will nine become ashwi correct answer Virja, correct answer. Naishi, correct answer. Dia, correct answer. Dia, wrong answer. Anya, wrong answer. Uh, Tisha, wrong answer. Trisha, correct answer. T R I S H. Trisha, correct answer. Uh, Vishwa, correct answer. Rishab, correct answer. Shanti, correct answer. Ria, wrong answer. 
पूर्व करेक्ट आंसर शिमोली करेक्ट आंसर तन्वी टीशा तन्वी टीशा अंशी माही ऑल करेक्ट आंसर्स ऑल राइट इन दिस केस द करेक्ट आंसर इज थ्री सेवन थ्री सिक्स हाउ डज इट डिराइव इज इफ यू लुक एट द सीक्वेंस थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय फोर विल बी ट्वेल्व एंड वन सेकेंड जस्ट टाइप इट आउट इट्स ईजियर Three becomes one three one two, which means what it is three multiplied by four will give you the uh, one second plus one is the first number, and the next number is simple three multiplied by four. Is the last number so three multiplied by four plus one, twelve plus one, thirteen, and three by four, three multiplied by four is twelve. Likewise, if you do the next sequence for four, it will be exactly the same. Four is three and four. This will how it it will look, and similarly for nine, it will be it will look something like this. Nine by four thirty six plus one thirty seven, which is the first two digit. Nine by four thirty six, which is the last two digit. Okay, simple. Second. Difference between each number is also same. That is four zero four. It can be another relationship, Anshi, which you have observed, which may also be possible. Uh, that's fine. But this is this is one of the relationship which I found it more convenient to follow. So I followed that. It worked for me. Okay, the correct answer is three seven three six in this case. Okay. Any doubts? Any questions? All right. We'll move to the next one. Uh, any... ma'am. Yes. Uh, ma'am. इतने J number आप लोग से नहीं जोड़ा आपने नहीं multiply करवा रहे हो जो four जो. हाँ. इतने अगर जो number है से. Okay. That multiply by four. And the first two digit is plus one. Last two digit is just the multiplication. Okay. Okay. Any doubts? Any other questions? Okay. Chalo. We we'll move to the next one. <laughs> This is very easy. Don't get uh, confused or don't get scared by uh, the chess thing. Okay. It's very easy. What is she say, uh, says is in figure one. In a chess, a knight moves two squares in one direction and one square at right angle that we all know. So, an a knight will move in one direction. Like it can move like this, an L, with one direction here, or it can move like this, one two, and the third one here. All right. You have to find the minimum number of moves that the knight will require to kill to kill or capture all the pawns that are there in Figure two. You have to find the minimum number of moves that the knight will require to kill all these pawns, which are seen in figure number two. Simple. It's really easy. This question is really, really, really easy. Okay. Try attempting, then I'll tell you how which one is the answer. Okay, ah, uh, Anshi, wrong answer. You have to kill all the pawns, which you are seeing here. The rumor, wrong answer.
pen and paper happen? Kavya, wrong answer. Anya, wrong answer. Ria, correct mm -hmm. answer. Okay. How many number of pawns are there? Maitri, correct answer. Anya, wrong answer. Trisha, correct answer. My first question in this case will be how many number of pawns are there? Simple. Drumil, wrong answer. Heer, correct answer. Kavya, correct answer. In this case, you will you you would be the uh, sorry the knight will be able to kill a pawn and get to kill one pawn in one move. The knight will be able to kill one pawn in one move, which means uh, the lowest possible, the minimum number of moves that the knight will require will be fifteen because there are fifteen pawns. It can be the answer can be 15 or it can be more than 15. But mean 15 is the minimum number that the knight will require. Now, if I want to check if in 15 moves I will be able to kill the knight or not, I will try that. Just for the heck of it, I will try that. But I know 15 is the bare minimum moves that I require. Let's do that. Okay. Chalo. Let's let's just try that. One second. Yeah, okay. So the, from this position, we know the knight can move either like this or like this. Or it can also go like this. There is a possibility. SAB or subtract. Yeah, SAB or subtract. All right. So it's basically an L that the knight takes. So from here, Uh, just, just give me one minute. Nah, not sure. Oh, no. Nah. But she joins this. Charles. So, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was on something else. So from this position, I'll go with here first move i'll just do a cross okay i'll just do a cross first position uh how do i count okay chalo. one position here the next position from here i go here which is the next position and l so this is number uh two from this position i i go to the next position which is the number uh this one number three from third position i go to the next position which is an l like this i kill this uh pawn which is my uh, fourth move from this position i uh, then go to the, my next position which is my four, four and fifth okay this is my fifth position here I mean, I don't really have to count it, but if I kill everybody without skipping one chance, which means I'll be completing it in 15 moves. So that, let me just not count it. And I'm just quickly moving from one position to other, okay? From this position, I take this pawn. From that position, I take this pawn, which is here, which is my sixth move, okay? From uh, this position, I move to the next position, which is here which is seven from this position i move to this position from this position uh, which is uh, here i'm here right now i uh, then move to this position which is only possible right now there's no other place where i can go to kill another pawn from that position i go to this position which is an l like this from here, I go to this part, this pawn, which is again an L like this. From there, I go to this position like this here. I come here. 
I kill this pawn. From here, I go to this guy, the last guy here, which is an L like that. From there, I go to this guy because I cannot go here. I can go here, last one. And then from this position, I go here, which is my 15, which means I'm not skipping. I'm not skipping any move where I'm not killing a pawn, which means I will require, because there are 15 pawns, I will require 15 moves, which was the bare minimum. So my answer 15 is correct. I did this, this part of moving of the pawn moving just to check if 15 is the correct move or not, or do I have, or is there any movement where I'm, where I'm moving, but I'm not killing another pawn. That's simple. Okay. That's why I did this. Otherwise, I didn't. I was not required to uh, do this whole thing. I just did this to cross check the answer fifty. That's all. That's it. Okay. Is that clear? Any doubts? Anybody has in this one? Any doubts? Anybody has in this one? All right. We'll move to the next one now. You're given um, some kind of arrows with some kind of different types of flower heads. These are flower heads, by the way. The top part is the flower head. You have to count which are the unique, how many different types of flower heads or how many different unique flower heads are there in this graphic. Some flower heads are repeating. All right. You have to count the number. You have to count the number. Vishwa, correct answer. Tanvi, correct answer. Kavya, wrong answer. Visha, correct answer. Kushi, correct answer. Anya, correct answer. Mahi, correct answer. He, wrong answer. Trisha, Trisha correct answer. Uh, Maitri, Ashvi, Purva, correct answer. Tisha, wrong answer. Anshi, wrong answer. Shimoli, wrong answer. Virja, wrong answer. All right. Let's just count, okay? Shrujal, correct answer. Palak, wrong answer. Rishabh, correct answer. Can somebody please mute yourself? Rishabh, can you mute yourself, please? I am not lecture. I am not Kavya, Lavya, uh, Right answer, Jumil, wrong answer. All right, chalo, we'll just count it. This is unique one. This is second unique two. Third unique three. Uh, this is fourth unique five. Uh, fourth, sorry, fourth one, which is unique. This is the fifth, six. This is repeated, seven. Eight, nine, mm, ten. No, this is done. Ten. This is repeated, like the second one. Eleven, twelve. This is getting repeated. 
थर्टीन अच्छा सॉरी टेंथ इज गेटिंग सॉरी आई डिड मिस्टेक Eleven. This will be the twelfth one. Thank you. Thirteen. And the last one, which is the unique one, is forty. And I am just missing this guy. Hmm, because this is unique, which I have not counted, and I am just numbering this five because this guy and this guy they are same. Okay. Hmm. Even the fifth one is repeated. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I got that. I just checked it again. When I was cross-checking everything, I just checked it again. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the correct answer is fourteen. Any doubts? Any questions in this one? Any doubts? Any questions? Okay, Shalom. We'll move. Okay, one second. Let me check the text. Okay, fifth one. Okay, Shalom. We'll move to the next one. The correct answer is fourteen. Okay. This is direction sense questions. So there's this guy who is cycling home. Due to unexpected water logging, he is forced to take a detour to reach his home. He started to cycle five kilometers towards north, turns right, goes three kilometers again, turns right, goes two kilometers, then turns left, goes two kilometers. Then turns right and goes three kilometers, and then finally turns towards left and uh, travels eight kilometers to reach the destination. All the turns he took were the right angle. How many kilometers would he have to travel the distance if he had traveled along the straight path? It's a direction sense test. You have to first draw the diagram of how that cycle is moving, and then you have to find the shortest distance. Which are you answered? Which was correct answer? Trisha, wrong answer. Aren't she wrong answer? Do we share correct answer? Aren't she wrong answer? Kavya correct answer. Rishabh, correct answer. 
Sanchi correct answer? Tanvi wrong answer? Uh, Dia wrong, uh, Dia correct answer, Tanvi wrong answer, he correct answer, Tisha wrong answer, Palak correct answer. All right. Uh, so we'll just draw a diagram first. <clears throat> this guy is, uh, is supposed as found an unexpected uh, water logging and then he's supposed to take a detour. He starts first. So I'll just write north, south, west. East. Okay. He first starts to cycle towards north five kilometers. He starts to cycle towards north and maybe reaches here. This is five. He then takes a right and goes three kilometers. He goes right and goes three kilometers. Then he again uh, turns right and goes two kilometers. He goes two kilometers down. This is two. Then turns left <clears throat> and goes two kilometers. This is left and then he again goes two kilometers. Then turns right and goes three kilometers. Here he turns right and then goes three kilometers. Then finally turns left, turns towards left and travels eight kilometers straight to the destination. From this he travels eight kilometers. Maybe I'm just saying this is his destination and this is eight kilometers. How many kilometers will he have to travel to the destination if he had taken in a, if we had cycled in a straight path? Now he is taking a detour from here and then reaching his destination, which is his home. We have to find just this distance. If he had taken a straight path, we don't have to craft tra or we don't have to calculate this whole distance that this guy has taken. But if he hadn't taken this detour, this is a path that he had taken on a detour. But if he hadn't taken this detour and if he had traveled along the straight path, how much distance would he had to travel? So it was eight plus two and plus three. So eight, uh, three plus two, five, five plus eight, 13. So the correct answer is 13 kilometers. He will have to travel. In the detour, he traverses, while he is taking the detour, he travels 5 plus 3, 8, 10, 20, 12, 15, and 8. 15 plus 8 would be 23. So, versus, he is taking a detour and he is traveling 23 uh, kilometers, which is not the case, which we don't have to calculate. We have to calculate what is a straight path, which is 13 kilometers, okay? Clear? Any doubts, any questions in this one? All right, we'll move to the next one then. What you're showing, what you're giving here is the girl who is kicking a football. The girl's name is Fatima. Uh, you have to identify the most appropriate illustration. You are, what you're doing is this girl, you are looking at this girl from the front. Now, if this girl was observed from the behind, from the back, what will be the image be like? That's what you have to observe. You have to identify the image of how will this girl look like from the back. Rishabh, correct answer. Shrujal, wrong answer. Uh, one second. Okay, okay. Uh, where did I? Lavia, Vishwa, Dei, Tanvi, wrong answer. Anya, correct answer. Kavya, Naishi, uh, wrong answer. Heer, correct answer. Maitri, uh, Maitri, Ashvi, wrong answer. Dia, correct answer. Dia, wrong, an Dia, wrong answer. Shimoli, correct answer. 
Manas, wrong answer. Tanvi, Mokshil, correct answer. Kushi, wrong answer. Palak, correct answer. Shanchi, uh, correct answer. Twisha, correct answer. Okay, one second. Naishi, wrong answer. Kavya, uh, Drumir, Mahi, Purva, correct answer. Virja, Tisha, Trisha, Purva, correct answer. Uh, in this case, uh, I deduced, like I'm talking about my experience, I deduced the correct answer just by looking at the ball. Just by looking at the ball, I deduced the correct answer. Why? If you look at the ball is actually, while I'm looking at, it, at this girl from the front, the ball is coming towards me. It's coming towards the observer. That's why the ball is bigger compared to the girl. Now, if I'm going behind this girl, which means the ball will be very farther away from my position or the observer's position. Hence, the ball will be the smallest in size. It will be really small compared to the, like if you look at the position, uh, the position which is given to you from the front, the size of the ball is bigger than the space of this girl. The size of the ball is bigger than the face of this girl which means that the ball is really away, farther away from this girl. And it is more towards the observer. If I'm going behind this girl, the size of the ball will be even, will be really smaller than, of course, the face of the girl and the face of the girl will appear much bigger to me. If you look at the, all the other options, A, uh, and A and D, for example, the size of the ball and the face of the girl is equivalent. So I will skip that out. And B is the size of the ball is bigger, which means I, that is B is, I'll just cross it out. Which means B is also wrong because ye size unka face ka or ye ball ka size bhi bada hai face se. Which means the ball has to be closer to the observer, which is wrong. And D may be a JSI situation where the size of the ball and the girl's face is similar. So with that, I will choose option C. Is there anybody else who deduced a different logic than this? Those who are given the correct answer or were able to arrive at the correct answer. Any other logic? Or just by observation. It can be correct also for a by observation also. It's fine. <sighs> All right, chalo. We'll move to the next one then. No problem. This is a similar kind of a question where you are given the silhouette. Where, sorry, where you are given a dragon uh, and you have to identify the correct silhouette of this dragon, of this colored image. You have to identify the correct uh, silhouette of this image of this dragon The okay. correct answer. Savia, correct answer. Anya, wrong answer. Uh, Anya, correct answer. No, Anya, wrong answer. Sorry, wrong answer. Yeah. Then we wrong answer. 
Shrujal, wrong answer. Aditya, correct answer. Anshi, correct answer. Trisha, wrong answer. Anya, wrong answer. You're, all, you're on, answering everything now. Okay. Uh, Sanchi, correct answer. Lavia, wrong answer. Parak, correct answer. Purva, correct answer. Manas, wrong answer. Uh, one second. Shimoli, Heer, uh, Rishabh, wrong answer. Vishwa, correct answer. Dia, correct answer. Ashvi, wrong answer. Okay, okay, Chalo. We'll just we'll just try find the correct one now. All right. In okay. In option B, this is wrong. They are organized in a different pattern here. They are organized in this direction. With option B, they are organized in this direction. They are wrong. Option C, the mustache here is an issue, which you can see here with option C. Option D, the claw, this claw is an issue, which you can see here. The last thumb, which is uh, dark purple in color in the claw is a problem with option D. If you look at other options, they are correct with the claw. So that's make B wrong, D wrong, and C wrong. And the correct answer is option A. Okay? You have to be observant to that extent, okay? You have to really go from one option to another to another. If you're finding similarity, just skip that option for now. Like, in this case, option A was a correct. So if I were to observe everything in option A, it would have been correct. I, I won't be able to arrive at any anything wrong. So in if I, I just when I started on solving this question, I started with option A and I found that okay, I'm not able to find anything different. So I'm just leaving it aside. Then I went to option B and I found these hairs to be different direction. I say option B is wrong. Then I went to option C, I find the mustache to be an issue. So I say C wrong. D may I found the claw to be an issue. I say D be galat hai. Bacha option A, which is the correct one. Okay. You may get confused with where if your first option is the correct one. So just leave it. Don't say that that's the correct one, but just leave it for them for now. And then jump to other options where you're able to find issues. Okay. C also, in ma'am and she also hands are different. Yeah, I mean, there might be other, I mean, I, I don't know which hands you're talking about. Uh, one, two, three, four. But I, I, I mean, I, with the mustache, I was able to deduce that it's wrong. It can be other, there might be other dissimilarities also. There's a possibility. Yeah, Palak. Any doubts, any questions in this? All right, Chalo, we'll move to the next one. Uh, wait one second, I'll just check the deck. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, all right, thank you. Uh, I think we'll just do one and one, one this one and then one after that, okay? You have to find, uh, you have to identify which uh, fly will move over to the maximum number of glasses or juice glasses. Okay, you are given the trajectory of all the flies which are there. You identify the fly which crosses over to the maximum number of glasses. You try answering this and I, I will give you the correct trajectories and along with the number of glasses that each fly goes through, okay?
in this case, please write down which number of light goes through how many glasses. That's that's the way. Um, uh, Vishwa, I think if you're answering for this, Vishwa and Dei both, uh, wrong answer. Drumil, wrong answer. Kavya, correct answer. Shrujal, wrong answer. One second. Lavya, uh, correct answer. Ashvi, wrong answer. Okay, 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 wait. We're giving different answers. Okay, we can just move to the next figure. Sorry, uh, correct answer is option C. I have made up. Option B, sorry. 20. Uh, for your A's, much is what I've done is I have color coded uh, the flight trajectory because it was very difficult for me to show you how the files fly, flies will be moving. All right. So if you should see the red path, which is uh, for this uh, B option, it moves to the maximum, which is 20. C moves 18. D, which is the green one, moves 15, and the black one, which is as it is, moves again 15. So, correct option will be this one, B. Um, okay. This path, the red path, which I'm outlining, right? That will be the maximum, which is 20. Any doubts, any questions? Uh, again, there is no shortcut in this. Please let me tell you. You will have to map the trajectory. Um, trust me, it is more easier if you, like, you know, somebody like me, what I would do is irrespective of what anybody tells, I will take the uh, rough sheet, which is given to me, I will put the rough sheet on the screen, like literally on the screen, which is there on the computer. And I will draw the whole trajectory and literally write the number. Simple. I won't redraw the whole thing in my sketchbook again by observing it, or I won't do a mistake of actually counting. If you are able to visually count, it's great. But otherwise, it's very difficult to do this. Can you please show the premium? Okay, I'll, I'll just go, Twisha, one second. Yeah. This one you meant, I hope, I hope you meant this one. In this case, the easiest way is take your paper, rough paper, which is given to you, put it on the screen, on the computer screen and draw the whole trajectory and then write the number, simple. Because you cannot sketch on the screen, it is much easier to trace it on the screen. Like up trace cartona tracing paper say, literally trace it by putting a paper on the screen itself. All right, so the correct answer is B with 20. You don't have to write 20, you just have to write the option A, B, C, D. All right, B would be the correct one in this case. We'll move to the last one, which is very easy. Uh, it is controversial also. It's, this question was a little bit controversial uh, because there could be a number of other options also besides this. You have to choose the options which can be associated with the objects in which are given in black. From these options, which are given in black, which is the closest option which can be associated?
Anya, correct answer. Aditya, Ria, wrong answer. Uh, Kavya, uh, Anshi, wrong answer. Tanvi, correct answer. Maitri, wrong answer. Vishwa, wrong, correct answer. Tisha, wrong answer. Uh, one second. Uh, Kushi, Manas, wrong answer. Lavya, correct answer. Shrujal, wrong answer. Yes, I agree with you, Kavya. There can be more than one option, but it's just one answer is correct in this case. Uh, Trisha, wrong answer. Purva, wrong answer. Shimoli, correct answer. Mahi, wrong answer. In okay, fine. I'll just give you the explanation, and I kind of agree, I kind of disagree also with the explanation that they had given. All right. Uh, in this case, uh, the way the explanation given by the faculties was that uh, it is associated with the theme of C. It is a, all these images are associated with the theme of with the theme of C. C as in open waters fish, direction north, uh, the personnel with a gun, uh, a movie, the kind of a light bulb which is, uh, which is used uh, for direction, of course, and of course, showing where the ship is, the ship itself. And hence, the correct option which is associated with it is the star, which is associated with uh, the person, the navy, uh, the personnels, uh, seals basically. The star is associated with the seals. That's why, uh, it's there. Uh, there can be other explanation, logical ones also. Uh, but uh, this was the one which was given by the faculties and was MCQ. It was not even MSQs. MSQ is multiple. Uh, Multiple, multiple answers are possible, but it was given in MCQ, which is only one answer possible. Yes, the North Star to navigate. The, I agree with it. I agree with that. What it, what I meant is all the themes are associated with open waters or sea, uh, which is there. And that's why seals, Joe, uh, the personals with the seals who are associated with waters and uh, guiding the listen, open I'm waters. joining in five minutes, okay? I'm joining in five minutes. One sec. Somebody, can you please turn up mute yourself? Uh, that's where uh, the star of the seals is the correct option, not the square, not the circle, and not the triangle. All right? I hope I'll try to explain you, Ashu. Any doubts? Star is associated with seals, that's why. It's a symbol for seals. Is there any doubt? Okay. We end this session uh, with this. Any doubts, any questions you have?